Chapter 7 counters will go over the following concepts. To compare synchronous and asynchronous digital circuitry, to define the modulus of a counter, and to design and test a variety of different counters. The first circuit we will look at is an asynchronous ripple counter. What makes this an asynchronous circuit is the output of one of the flip-flops is used as the clock signal for the second flip-flop. From the output of the circuit, it can be determined that it is a mod 4 circuit. This counts from 0 to 3. Now we want to run the same circuit, but in worst case mode. This will show the time delay which it takes for the clock and the flip-flops to adjust to the output. As we zoom in, this is shown by the yellow lines that appear on the Q1 pulse. The next circuit is a synchronous circuit. This is seen because both of the flip-flops are clocked at the same time. This type of counter is much faster and more precise than an asynchronous counter because they do not have to wait for the signal to propagate through the flip-flops. The propagation is shown by the yellow hash lines in the output waveform. This circuit is an asynchronous circuit. As you can see, both clocks are independent from each other. And this circuit is a mod 3 counter, and when the count reaches 3, the flip-flops are reset. Judging by the 7400 chip that is in place with the reset and the clears. The next circuit is a synchronous counter. 
This particular circuit is a mod 3 binary ripple counter. As you can see, both clocks share the same pulse and the presets and clears are set to high. Now we want to run the circuit. Same variables as before. and selecting the nodes we want to view. And if we zoom in we can see the propagation as well as that it goes that it counts from 0 to 2 and then repeats itself. The last circuit details a mod 10 ripple counter. This is used with a 7490 chip which cascades a mod 2 and a mod 5 ripple counter to create the mod 10 counter. The mod 5 counter uses feedback to reduce its natural modulus from 8 to 5 and for user flexibility the connection between the mod 2 and the mod 5 counters is done externally in the real world. Because of internal ripple delays, decoded outputs are subject to spikes. This is a propagation. And as you can see, the master set and the master reset is both on pin 6 and 7 and 2 and 3. And the external connection between mod 2 and mod 5 is between 12 and 1. And as we select the nodes for the output, you can see it counts from 0 to 9 and then sets back up and does the same thing again.